Tonight is the first quarter moon. And I'm using my MID ETX 105 Maxis or Telescope to look at the moon. And doing this with two eyepieces, eyepieces are important as the telescope. I'm using a Orion Expanse 6mm 66 degrees eyepiece and one uh, TMB Planetary 2 6mm eyepiece. So they are quite close. This one is 66 degrees field of view. This one I think is around 62 degrees. And uh, I have used them uh, both at the very, uh, you know, swapping them between the eyepieces very quickly. And they're not power focal, first thing is that you have to adjust slightly, not much, but just slightly. The first thing that I noticed using this is that um, is field of view is wider with the Orion Expanse. You can feel that it's a bit wider. Second, you will notice is that there is a, some kind of kidney bean effect visible if your eye is not exactly at the center. With this one, you don't have such a problem. It's like looking through a keyhole or something like that. And uh, second thing is that both of them almost deliver similar images. I, I try to swap as quick as possible to see what's the difference between them. I couldn't see in the first try as much difference. Then gradually I noticed that this one is a tad sharper. I'm looking at the Hygnus, uh, Hygnus uh, um, you know, lava tube uh, in the center of the uh, disk of the mo uh, moon, a little bit above the center. And what I could see was that this one shows any detail that you can see here, but this one, on some areas, it shows a slightly sharper image. Looking with this is more relaxing. Looking at this is a little bit finicky because of that issue of the with the eye placement. Of course, it doesn't have a, uh, a rubber eye guard. I lost it off somewhere. I don't know where it is. But this one has everything in it, including the uh, ability to actually rise this upward or downward beside the of course the uh, the rubber eye guard that it exists also in this what is interesting is that uh, i've noticed in many occasions is that this uh, eye piece is very similar to teleview radiant very comfortable to view it's color free it doesn't have anything to bother the eye same time i feel that uh, the price point of this is very good this one you can buy it in america for 49 dollars i think and this is one of the good ones anyway and this one about for 19 pound which is around 25 dollars near near that but uh, now it has increased because of the short su supply due to the covid probably around 40 pounds you can buy this it means around 60, 55 dollars. $55, yeah, uh, a little bit uh, less field of view, but more comfortable to look through. This one is a bit finicky. The lens almost looks the same size. This one is slightly bigger, probably again. And uh, the coating, as as far as I can see, the coating on this one is a bit uh, red tinge. This one has a bit red tinge with green tinge. Both of them have the green tinge also. This one, which one I prefer to observe it. I like to challenge, I like to see with this one. It looks very f nice and feels very nice in hand. This one is also good. Uh, looks a little bit more premium. And uh, four degrees smaller, you can see the field of view is a little smaller, but uh, good value, good value. I, I like both of them. Okay, now I'm using the Orion Expanse 9mm eyepiece and compare it with the TMB Planetary 2 9mm. Uh, kidney beating exists with this one, uh, slightly with this, not much, but major with this. But the image quality of this Orion 9mm is superb compared to this. This one is, gets a little bit soft. This one, excellent, sharp. So. So in this uh, focal length, 9mm, Orion Expanse is better than the TMB Planetary. In my telescope, with my eye, in this weather condition that I'm looking. And I really like it. 
9 millimeter of kidney bean. Obviously, that didn't have a kidney bean. But when you put your eyes in the correct position, image is sharp, razor sharp. And uh, with this one, you can see slightly kidney bean also with this one. But it uh, doesn't put me off. Yeah, the sharpness of this is uh, um, 50 to 60 percent of the center. Image is sharp, absolutely sharp. The rest of it gets a little bit out of focus and uh, you can see some blue tinge around the limb of the moon. Now I got this uh, 9mm again into the IPS holder and I'm looking at the image. The image is very sharp almost to the 80% of the field of view which is 62 degrees, 4 degrees less than the Orion expanse. There is not much uh, color fringe blue color fringe there's a little bit but not much as much as the orion expanse nine millimeter uh, and it gets sharp very close um, if i say that uh, orion expanse is 10 this is almost 9.8 sharp but is this one is easier to look through because field of view is easier the whole field of view you can see it and then it's more comfortable there's no kidney bean in this one or almost there is no Okay, I stand by my original assessment and uh, which one I prefer, Orion Expanse 9mm is definitely sharper by a tad. You, in most objects, most targets on the moon is very good, both of them are very similar, but on very finer details, 9mm Orion Expanse displays more, so hands up for this one, this is good. This is good also, excellent, um, and doesn't have much kidney beaning on like this one. But the sharpness in this one is exceptional, it's really good. Okay, now I'm uh, digiscoping with the uh, Orion Expanse 9mm, as you can see. The image is very sharp. I like this uh, sharpness. Of course, what you see in the video is different to what I can see visually. Uh, it's much more sharper when you look visually. Also, because of that uh, eye placement uh, problem that I mentioned, it's not as easy as uh, other eyepieces that I have to hold the camera against the eyepiece. But this is the image sharpness that I can see. Probably 80% of the image sharpness that I could see. Now I'm looking with the uh, TMB Planetary 2 9mm, 62 degrees, 4 degrees narrow field of view. It's much easier to hold the camera against the telescope, as you can see. And that means that the image is uh, looking in this video sharper, or visually, they were very close. Orion, Orion Expanse was sharper, visually, of course. The video, the video position is not exactly, I cannot hold the video, but the, uh, the camera against the eyepiece as good as my put my eye against the eyepiece. Uh, I don't have much control over this as much as I have over my own eye. Thanks God. <laughs> okay, I must explain something. I have made videos with the uh, Orion Expanse 9mm and TMB Planetary 2 9mm also. Um, holding the camera with TMB was easier than this. Although the image in this one is sharper, but because of that finicky position, it's a little bit difficult. Not as difficult as some of the eyepieces that I have seen. But in this one, compared to this, uh, holding the camera against the eyepiece, imagine that is your eye, it was easier. With this one, the image was very sh uh, slightly sharper than this but in the video when I took it you can see that the resulting video in this one is better quality simply because the kidney beaning in this one is less than this I just want to show you something this uh, telescope uh, when I bought it it had some uh, fungi damage fungal damage to the optics the Menisca, the meniscus of the maxis of design well, has a lot of had a lot of fungi inside so when i twist it this the whole thing comes off you don't need to remove the individual you know the meniscus the whole cell holding this this metal part comes off you just twist it it comes off you don't need to fidget with this ring around but the letter is written don't do that <coughs> the whole thing came off and i just cleaned it with a 
um, this uh, rubbing alcohol that we use for disinfection during the COVID uh, is a problem now. And that really helped this, and the uh, fungal is gone. It's clear.